head It's something you did God knows when But you're doing it again You better duck down the alleyway Looking for a new friend The man in all right, so there's been some music that has been around for a very long time in different forms because, you know, we're music kind of people. So there is a great festival going on at Charlotte Hall Museum this weekend, and I have with us Terry Barrett. Nice to have you with us, Terry. <laughs> Thank you. And you're the business manager there, but yes. also you are a musician. Yes, I am. A folk uh, we're both musician? Hats. Yeah, folk yeah, musician. Yeah. I don't know what, what you call it. Americana was a good way to put it. Well, I've heard different terms like that. Roots, I figure it's roots music, you know, Americana, kind of this original form of music as well, if, and then folk. Same. If you go back, uh, I think the big thing was there was a big folk uh, revival out of New York City, the East Coast, back in the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And that created a big boom. And from that, a lot of people came out. Of course, the Beatles hit, and everybody wanted a guitar. They watched Ed Sullivan. <laughs> yes. Every kid that was 10 years old wanted a guitar. And so the whole guitar band took off. But you, you had what that movement then that came up with Dylan and the birds. Uh, and it's kind of evolved now into what we call Americana music, which is a real melting pot. It encompasses a little bit of blues, a little bit of rockabilly, a little bit of country. So it's really hard to define it other than we call it American music. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot, there was a movie ages ago about this, too, about how someone went, true story, went around and gathered music from the Appalachian Mountain people or, you know, all these people in isolated places who made this music. And she made a songbook. But I think a lot of the music came from that kind of a thing, us just making music ourselves, and then it kind of becomes the inspiration and gathering together of this American or Americana yeah. music, roots music, folk music. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to put it. And if you look at talking about the Appalachian, everybody knows Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass. Yeah. But a lot of what he did and a lot of that music is really goes back to England and Scotland. When the, when the first colonials came, they settled down in the hills and they brought their music. It was funny, I was playing... Uh, Play, as you know, I play fiddle as well, and I was in Scotland, and I was playing a traditional song called Old Joe Clark. I know a man named Old Joe Clark. Joe Clark was his name. And I was in a pub in Edinburgh, and I, they said, oh, play American tunes. So I start playing that, and the lady behind me at the bar starts singing it in Gaelic. And she goes, oh, this is one of our tunes. So Joe, that's not American. No. <laughs> Whatever. I don't so, have a Scottish accent. No, that's fine. But it, <laughs> it, it really, it's, it's a tradition that's handed on and the songs that we play today, even of the same songs 100 years ago, would have been slightly Amazing. different. So the Folk Music Festival that's coming up this weekend at Charlotte Hall Museum, that is kind of honoring this traditional music. Then. That's correct. We've got, and it's, it's really a fun festival. We've got four stages set up that you're going to hear a wide variety, as I said, everything from country to blues to folk. You're going to see single, duo, trios, so there's something really for everyone at every stage. Wonderful. And well, it's the other thing, let me just yeah. say, it's the 38th annual. It's the oldest <gasps> continuous music festival in Arizona. No kidding. That's great. 38. Wow. Yeah. It's a, like golden age. Well, mm -hmm. how about we um, hear some real folk music yeah, from you, I'm, I'm going to play a song from, uh, I had the honor of opening up for this guy. His name is David Childers. He's from North Carolina. And uh, I just fell in love with this song, so I'll play this for you. It was New Year's Day in a tumble I had a special on PBR While the ocean roared outside the door Just you and me and some hardcore drinkers Riding out a storm that day How blue was the blue of your eyes Against that sky of gray do you remember what we talked about? I just remember your face Prettiest thing that I'd ever seen Well, we must have took a long turn Somewhere around Cedar Falls Or maybe Kansas City, I don't know But 
We just kept on driving We had too many miles behind us We run out of road somewhere in Arizona Do you remember what we talked about? I just remember your face Prettiest thing that I'd ever seen Well, you left me in that deep hole With your mother in Gastonia And what you had left of self-respect Well, I know you tried to warn me Oh, but that's when I was drinking And I couldn't find the word win you back Do you remember what we talked about? I just remember your face Prettiest thing that I had ever seen I know that you give up on me and I sure understand Years of miles are not what you deserve heard that you got married and that he's a decent man although some say he's a little bit reserved do you remember what we talked about i just remember your face prettiest thing that i had ever Wow. That is great. Now, okay, this is a treat. This is kind of country, but that is also a roots music. Uh, certainly from the Southwest, we get that. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. it covers a lot of stuff. You see, you, you call that straight country. You could call it uh, a lot of different types. Exactly. Yeah, and the story of good me. love and gone bad. I mean, timeless. <laughs> it's always there. <laughs> love it. Well, obviously, we're going to take a little break. We're going to come back and talk more about Charlotte Hall Museum's folk music. Here's some more folk, and uh, talk to you again in a minute, Terry. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Yes, so a folk music festival coming up at Charlotte Hall Museum this weekend. It's going to be sunny, great weather, which we always love. We're going to have rain for a few days. Terry Barrett, good timing, I have to say, on that. <laughs> but we were talking about how you were playing kind of what I would say was a country song. Mm -hmm. your, your shirt is, as I'd say, kind of country, yes. kind of western, too. Of course, we're in the southwest, too. Right. But this is also a folk, folk music genre, if you will. Now you've got a lot of great guys coming for people coming from all over for this folk music festival this weekend. Who we got coming? Well, from Tucson, you may remember there's a band called I Hear Voices. It's four part vocal harmony and one guitar. And fantastic. If you love voices, these people are great. But they've got a great story about them too. The leader of the band uh, was the person that formed Stone Ponies, who you may remember was the first band that Linda Ronstadt was in yes. from Tucson. And a few of Linda's cousins are in this, so they've got the uh, tradition. So they're fantastic. They're doing a uh, show, I believe, at 3 o'clock on Saturday in the theater. And then Sunday at 11, they're going to do a vocal harmony workshop. So if you ever had the ability to want to learn, you know, three-part harmony, they go through it, and it just is magic. Oh, really I tell you, that's tough. The harmonies are really tough. It is. Everybody wants to say the lead, uh, play, you know, sing the lead line. <laughs> and and they do some complex things that, as a listener, you don't really realize how it is. And then when they go through the workshop and break down, well, this God. one's doing this. This one's going to sing the six. This is the third. And it's just Whoa, fantastic. How fabulous! And then from Phoenix, we've got a duo, uh, J.C. and Laney. Um, male and female, and they, again, vocal harmonies, songwriters, powerful uh, stage presence. A lot of these songs are original then. Oh yeah, they're gonna do okay. almost, I think, 100% original. Uh, the same with I Hear Voices. They do a fantastic job as well. Uh, I can just say, go see them. The energy level's extremely high. We've got a blues player from Phoenix called Eric Ramsey, who's fantastic. He's another songwriter. He plays a national, which is a metal guitar with a cone inside. Right, a lot of the old right. blues guys did. He's fantastic. Uh, if you like Western, we've got the OK Corral. They're, uh, they dress up in the old Western outfits and sing. Wonder where they got that name. Yeah. If, if you like the Sons of the Pioneers, you know, 
cool, cool water, you know, those oh, types exactly. on. They do it just fantastic. So just going through that, it's a wide variety of, of music you're going to see. On four stages, the gazebo right outside is a stage. We've got uh, the theater, which is just fantastic, right in the Lawler building. Uh, off of that, we have the West Gallery, and then outside we have our big amphitheater. Yeah. A very fun place to be, yeah. too. If it's still summer, the cicadas are out. They compete with the singers yeah. sometimes, but it's <laughs> They're in harmony. <laughs> exactly. But it's fun. And obviously, this is something that you, you go to Charlotte Hall Museum. The grounds are beautiful. You probably have other kinds of things. Are you going to have, like, uh, booths and and other workshops and classes, food, anything yeah, like we that? Yeah, so? we're going to have food on the premises. Okay. We have workshops in uh, two of the buildings going on both days. And these workshops are performances of, uh, I'm going to be doing one with Eric on uh, finger style and blues guitar. Right. So we'll walk through and we'll break down a song and this is how it works and, and explain different types. So we have that, we have banjo, we have songwriting, and those are a lot of fun as well as the performances. In addition to that, the entire museum's open. Uh, we ah. have, for those that don't know, we have the original governor's mansion on the original site from 1864. No, well, there are wonderful things. The Fremont House, house. I mean, the Bashford House. It's, I love going there. And to have <laughs> music there on the site is also wonderful. So 10 to 5 on Saturday, 10 to 4 oh. on Sunday. But why don't you play us out to break? All right. I'll play a song by mm -hmm. uh, another songwriter. This is by Mickey Newberry. Everybody knows Mickey Newberry because he wrote, uh, I just dropped in to see what condition my oh, condition love was it, in. Love it. But he was okay. a big, big Nashville songwriter. And Terry I was like this. Barrett, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having <laughs> us. And we'll see everybody this weekend at the museum. You bet. Every time it rains, I go running to my window. All I do is hang my head and moan. Can't you hear that thunder? Can't you hear that lonesome wind blow? Tell my baby why you have been gone so long. Tell my baby why you been gone so long. You've been gone so long. Tell my baby why you been gone so long. Wolf tapping at my door. Can't you hear that lonesome wind blow? Tell my baby why you been gone so long. Somebody said they saw you rolling down in Reno with a big old man from San Antonio. Say I'm a fool to pine for you, but what do they know? Tell my baby why you've been gone so long. Tell my baby why you've been gone so long, you've been gone so long. Tell my baby why you've been gone so long. Wolf tapping at my door, can't you hear that lonesome wind blow? Tell my baby why you've been gone so long. <laughs>